Well, new here at 6 o'clock, there's something fishy happening at Wendell Smith Elementary School on the far south side today. And the situation gave Chicago Public School students a lesson in the legal process. And WGN's Mike Lowe has the story. A school of fish stays together, but at this school, this fish is driving the principal and his students apart. So my client. That brings us to Wendell Smith Elementary School's official mock trial over what you might call a class action. The plan is there's any witnesses. This is the case of Principal Turan Crockett. Um, I stand before you um, as the proud custodial parent of Pepper. Versus. Good to know, Mr. Crockett. The second graders. Did you ever have any doubts or concerns about Pepper's care? Then since you are so concerned now. Little lawyers prepared with briefcases and arguments. Mr. Crockett not was lying. not taking care of Pepper. That, we, that would not Honor, be accepted. We saw it all. As jurors took notes with number two pencils and a court reporter clacked on the keyboard, keeping a record of the proceeding. This dispute centers on Pepper the Goldfish, who had lived in her bowl in Miss Jackson's second grade classroom, number 109, from March until June. But when school let out for the summer. And that's all I wanted. I just wanted to take care of Pepper. Pepper was left living in a fishbowl, only with nobody watching. Hey, buddy. Hey, you. Principal Crockett you go. claimed he came to the rescue, bringing Pepper to his office for the summer, where he fed the fish, cleaned the tank, and became Pepper's pal. And Pepper became his. Pepper was forgotten about. Teacher's pet. So Pepper's mine. But when students came back to school this month, they were salty about Pepper's new home and demanded the return of the fish. You sound like someone using poor Pepper for payback. When Principal Crockett refused, they took him to court. Yes, I also see the people that abandoned Pepper too. It'll be Miss Jackson <laughs> and Miss Whitman. So it was up to PE teacher Damon Taylor playing the role of the judge. The jury has del deliberated and come up with a decision. And the eighth grade student council as the jury to decide where Pepper rightfully belongs. We believe the fish should be returned to Mrs. Jackson's classroom. That was our final decision. Besides the very real issue of Pepper's custody, the mock trial taught the students the components of a court proceeding and the language of the law, providing insights into our legal system as a way to resolve arguments without violence. I just wanted them to see the process as you say it and to be able to take away um, how to fight for something uh, the right way. A dispute about a fish. I think that all fish need a good father. He will get visitation every other weekend. Perhaps the best way to learn about the scales of justice. In Chicago's Roseland neighborhood on the far south side, Mike Lowe, WGN News.